Well, hello, hello. So we have another food video coming to you from Seoul, South Korea. And today we are having bure jjigae. So check this out. This is basically an army stew, Korean army stew. And half of the ingredients are American because after the Korean War, food supplies were kind of low. So Koreans started making their way to the American military bases. And there they found hot dogs, spam, ham. So it has some rather unusual ingredients yeah. for Korean food. This is kind of known as the leftover stew. Or yeah. stew. Yeah. It's got a lot of like strange ingredients all thrown mm -hmm. together, but it is, it is a delicious uh, yeah. soup and stew. We've had it before and we're excited to try it again. So the traditionally Korean ingredients are things such as gochujang, the red pepper paste sauce, yeah. and also have kimchi. Mm -hmm. And we ordered two supplements, and on the menu they were called sari. And so we ordered ramyun, which are the noodles. If you yeah. take a look down here, you can see the noodles cooking. Yeah, we got like two Put them on for display. <laughs> and the other thing that we ordered as a supplement to add in was mandu. The mandu, the dumplings. And of course, those are the Korean dumplings, and Ooh. I just broke one off. You're just destroying <laughs> our meal. Whoopsies. All right, so I guess now we just let it cook. Now we yeah. wait for it to boil. It's the hurry up and wait time. Um, yeah. And because this is a Korean meal, we couldn't forget the side dishes yeah. always present. So while we're, while we're waiting for this to cook, let's give you a tour of the banchan. So let's start here. We have the gongnam mul of bean sprouts. Mm -hmm. We have the kimchi, the fermented cabbage. We have kind of the fish cakes, and then we have the greens. So mm -hmm. it's a nice mix. And then we were each given uh, a, a thing bowl of rice. Of rice. You always have rice at the table. Yep. Doesn't matter what you're Never having. Never have a Korean super stew without rice yes. by your side. It's mandatory. It's mandatory. So our host at the restaurant just uh, turned off or either turned down our, our pot here, the heat yeah. on the pot. So I think it's ready to eat. And as you can see, the noodles definitely look cooked yeah. now. We also discovered they had some different kind of noodles as well. They have the, they're called the, the Korean glass noodles. So we have some other mystery ingredients. We also found that there was some tofu put in as well. Yeah, you can see the big, right big chunks there. of tofu there. And I mean, so. really, how long do you have to cook spam and hot dogs? I <laughs> feel like this is all it's good to go. Cooked, right? So you're getting okay. the toppings first, and then you're gonna get some a of the soup. A little bit of everything. Yes. Get some, soup. some tofu. Some tofu. Love me some tofu. Trying to keep the camera away so it doesn't fog up. Yeah. yeah I'll zoom into <laughs> your bowl. So. There we, there we go. I think I have a little bit of everything. What else? Maybe some kimchi. Yeah, add some kimchi. Do you have enough soup? Yes. Ta da! Okay, so going in for my first bite. Let's have a look down here. Honestly, I think the last time I ate hot dogs willingly, okay, it was probably either the last time I had bure jjigae <laughs> or when I was in middle school when I would like slice hot dogs and mix yeah, them in with like we're mashed not, we're potatoes. We're not big fans of it like, on its own, but it, it somehow works in this, in this too, in this cream soup. Mm. Mm, spraying everywhere. Spicy. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Maybe some noodles with kimchi. And they're like slipping off my chopsticks. <laughs> Got some skill here. <laughs> it's still steaming. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, we can see it, especially if we look down at the pot. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. How is it? But it's good. Mm. It's kind of interesting having like Korean ingredients and American ingredients and it's like fast food for both cultures because so you've got like ramen noodles which are super popular here you can get them to go and hot dogs so yeah it's an interesting meal for sure but you have to try it when you come to Korea it's one of those must-have dishes just for the experience all right time for me to go in for my first bite first getting bite. a bit of tofu a bit of noodles How is it? It's quite tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect on a cold day like today. Mm -hmm. So we may have overcooked ours a little bit. Yeah, All so the we've, water we've, has we've, evaporated. We've turned it off. It's <laughs> it's, it's being it's, I think it's been mostly absorbed by the noodles, but that's yeah, okay. And it's starting to stick. We're gonna have some nice thick noodles to eat. Yeah, this looks more like a stew than a soup now. Yeah. Check it out. Most definitely. All bundled up, ready to face the outdoors. <laughs> yeah, it's another cold day here in November in Korea. So in terms of price point, that was uh, very reasonable. 
the booty jiggy came to 6,001 per person, so 12,000 in total. And with the mandu and ramyun supplement, that brought it up to 15,001. So man oton won, which is roughly just over like 12 US dollars. So pretty cheap to eat all that food. In terms of the quality and the taste, it's definitely something that we both think is good. But compared to other cr traditional Korean soups and like stews. Like Yeah, like sundubu jjigae and kimchi jjigae, for example, uh, not quite up to that standard. So yeah. we would have this every once in a while.